Dalton Cross is a model and activist whose work in particular with elephants has earned her an important voice in global conservation. At the recent One Young World Summit in London, she was asked to introduce the renowned primatologist Jane Goodall, a person she says inspired her passion for animals and the planet from a very early age. Ahead of COP25, I'm James Chow, and this is our interview for The China Current. Dalton, you are known for helping shape the fashion industry. You are known also for philanthropy. But I want to start with your name, Dalton. What does it mean, and what does it carry for you? Um, it's my grandmother's name, and I found out last year that it means peacemaker. So that's actually a really nice meaning, I think, to a name. Especially in the world today, you're someone who. Travels extensively for your work, and you work as such in many different communities. What do you make of the world today, as you see it? I think we could be a lot more friendlier to each other and welcoming.、Um, I feel like we're losing a lot of empathy towards each other and towards the natural life, and this is something that bothers me because I have two children. And I want to leave a beautiful world for them behind. And it's just very inspiring to be here at the One Young World Summit to to see so many inspiring young leaders that feel the same way. Your children are young. I think they're under the age of ten. Yes. And the planet that you speak of, which you and all of us will leave for them to inherit, is now in a very fragile state. Do you think it's too late now? For us to reverse the damage and to restore what it was supposed to be, I want. I don't want to say it's too late, but how it's supposed to be, maybe it is. But I think every little bit helps. So the fact that we are now, this global change is happening, and to be part of that feels very empowering and hopeful. I'd love to talk to you a bit about some of the countries who can help enact a positive transformation. But first, tell me about. Not on my planet, and that's not with a K. Yeah, it's not with a K, because we are an organization that's trying to save the elephants because they are unfortunately being poached at a very big rate and are disappearing. And people are known to tie knots to not forget anything, and elephants are known to never forget something. And to bring that together, we feel like. We should tie knots to not forget elephants, and this was our initial campaign. We would tie knots to raise awareness for the fact that elephants are disappearing, and now we're actually also raising money for the Elephant Crisis Fund, and hopefully, we will create the reverse. There is now a ban on the ivory trade, and the ivory is part of the culture, in the arts and the crafts for the medicinal values, but it's had to. Stop that, and then reject that culture, and replace it with something else. What would you like China to do more of, or what do you think it could do next? I think the most important thing is that we need to. We cannot expect change within very short time. And for us, the fact that there was a ban in 2017 for us was incredible news because it's a really great start and. To reverse a culture is something that is very difficult. Elephants are very similar to humans. We have very similar emotions. They mourn when little, like when an elephant dies, they come back to the same place.、Um, so to show them the incredible animal an elephant is, and that we cannot live without animals. We cannot live because we thrive on nature. Human beings and elephants are the architects of the African landscape. If you protect elephants, you protect a huge habitat of ecosystems. You've obviously been and worked in, in China, China、yeah. many times. No, only once. And where was it? Only、too? once. I worked in Shanghai, and I stayed a couple of days to, you know, experience while I was there. You know, the the, the culture and you the stayed on and, for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We went, I, went, I went with my sister, and I really enjoyed Shanghai. And then went to Beijing, and we were at the Chinese Wall, 
and just, you know, just the food, of course. <laughs> what was it like for someone who's grown up in a very different setting, of course? You um, grew up I'm in used the to that. You're yeah. used to it. I'm used to different cultures and I love to absorb different cultures and learning and yeah, I think you learn so much from travel and meeting different people from different cultures and I think it's very important. If we all would do that, the world would be a whole different place. If we would all travel and or at least if we would all meet different cultures and be open to to each other's cultures and open-minded, I think the world would be a different place. The world will meet again very shortly for the climate change conference. Yet another opportunity, yet another chance to do the right thing as not just your own person but as a mother of two children and uh, as a champion of young people everywhere. What do you want the political leaders at this conference to do now if they have not already? Well, I would love them to talk a little bit less and take more action because we've talked about this for so many years and we, we don't have so much time left. So I love people like Greta Thunberg who just take action and go for it and are true activists. And I think that's the approach we need to have because we need to fight really hard to, for the reverse because otherwise it's too late. We've got lots more videos, so like, follow and subscribe at The China Current.